introduce Coach Nick Saban from the University of Alabama. Coach, can you start off with a brief statement and we'll get to questions. Well, first of all, I'd like to wish everybody a happy holiday. I hope your holiday has been wonderful to this point. Um, you know, I'd like to give a special thanks to the All-State Sugar Bowl uh, in the city of New Orleans uh, for creating a great bowl week, you know, for our team. Uh, we have a great history at the University of Alabama um, with the Sugar Bowl. I think we have the most appearances, 14, most victories, eight uh, of any school in the country. So uh, there's a lot of history here. There's uh, a lot of great relationships with the people who uh, provide the great hospitality for our team. Uh, so we're very, very appreciative of, of that. I'm also very proud of what our team's been able to accomplish this year. Uh, I think this team, you know, started out and uh, we didn't know for sure where we were going and what we were going to do, but uh, through a lot of hard work and dedication and uh, team togetherness, they've certainly uh, improved throughout the year, overcome a lot of adversity, and now created a tremendous opportunity for themselves to, you know, play a, an outstanding uh, Ohio State team. Uh, I'm really proud of our team for the way they've represented um, the university off the field as well as on. Uh, the fact that we have 22 graduates, which I think is first, and seven master's degrees on this team, um, which is also first, um, you know, speaks a lot to the quality of the players, the quality of the character of the players, uh, the commitment that we have to, you know, creating an atmosphere and environment to help our players be successful as people, uh, as students, and as football players. Uh, so. Um, you know, the focus here is, you know, something that I think uh, will be very, very important to playing well. Uh, I think maintaining intensity uh, for a bowl game is one of the critical factors for any team in terms of their ability to uh, get back to playing the kind of football that got them here. Uh, it's also important that, um, you know, with a lot of time to prepare, sometimes you have to expect the unexpected. Uh, in terms of what the other team might do that you might not be prepared for. And uh, you've got to be able to adjust and adapt and uh, be in control and command of uh, how that affects you. Uh, and discipline uh, is always very, very important uh, when you haven't played a game for a long time to you know, play with the kind of discipline and eye control um, no matter what position that you play uh, so that you have to have a chance to be sound fundamentally playing against a very good you know, football team. We'll start here on the right side. Uh, Coach Urban said that uh, this has a different feel to it than a normal bowl game. Uh, none of his players have been to a, to a situation like this before. All your players have very routine. Is that an advantage for you? Uh, you know, I, I really can't speak to that. I, you know, I, I think that uh, any time that you can gain experience in situations, you hope that your players will handle it um, the right way. Uh, because they've done it before, they understand what it takes. You know, sometimes we've had success in these situations and played very well, and sometimes we haven't played so well. And hopefully, our players understand the the difference uh, between the two and what has made the difference in how we performed, and that we can stay focused on doing the things that are going to help us play well. Going to the left side, Nick, you had two practices back in Tuscaloosa after the break. What did you see from your team in terms of their focus? Well, they were great. I mean, I think the players have done a great job. You know, before the holidays, uh, everybody enjoyed the three-day break that we had and, uh, you know, came back with very good energy and enthusiasm and uh, had, you know, two really good practices. Ted, right in the middle. Nick, obviously, uh, hiring Lane got a lot of attention. One of the pluses and the many of the minuses of having a coach, who's been, uh, someone, someone on your staff has been a coach at a head coach at a high level, and do you feel like that it will be a short time before Lane has a head coach job again? Well, I, I think that um, he, first of all, let me just speak to the fact that he has done a fantastic job for what we have asked him to do as offensive coordinator. Uh, I'm sure that some of his head coaching experiences all contribute to his ability to um, maybe teach, handle players, um, do a good job organizationally with the staff. You know, all the things that go into being a good coordinator, uh, I'm sure the opportunity to be a head coach probably helped enhance that. Uh, he's always been a very bright guy and a very good offensive coach, and he's certainly done a fantastic job with our players this year. And uh, I think if, you know, the thing that I always say 
is if you continue to have success and do a good job at what you're doing, it's going to create opportunities for you in the future. And uh, I certainly think it would that would be the case with Lane. Right here in the middle, Tim. Nick, Nick you got a couple of weeks now to look at Ohio State. What just stands out about them more and more the more you look at them? Well, they're an outstanding team in, in every phase of the game. Uh, they do a great job on special teams. They have good players. They have good team sp speed. You know, they're very well coached. Uh, but offensively, they're very, very productive. Um, you know, amazing that they've used three different guys at the quarterback position uh, and all have been very, very productive, which to me speaks well for their staff and how they use their players. Uh, I think they have an outstanding running back. I think they have, you know, three, at least three really good receivers that all complement each other very, very well and have capability of making explosive plays. And they've been able to create great balance on offense and their defensive front uh, is very physical. Uh, hard to run against. Uh, they've, they've been very aggressive with turnovers and uh, hard to score on. So all the way around, you know, they're, they're, I don't think there's any teams that get to here uh, that aren't really good teams. And they're all really well coached, which is, you know, pretty typical of an Urban, Urban Meyer team. Uh, but they have really good players. They play well together. And um, in every phase of the game, they've been very productive this year. Mark, right here. Well, he's practiced the last two days, and we'll continue to work him. And you know, hopefully, he'll continue to progress. And uh, he had a significant amount of time off, but uh, he seems to be making progress now. And you know, we're, we're hopeful that he'll be able to make a contribution in the game. Time for a couple more, Bill. What are the challenges of playing against the quarterback who's only played one game? Well, I, I think that um, the challenge is probably more the type of quarterback. Um, you, you, you know, they've done a great job of having a sort of a dual threat type of quarterback, um, which is kind of a trademark of the way they played offense. Urban has played that way at Florida, you know, when he had Tebow. And uh, their quarterback has made a lot of plays throwing the football, but they make a lot of plays running the ball. Um, how much they'll do that with this particular guy, how they'll do it, I think that's the bigger question relative to what his strengths are. But I think he demonstrated in a Wisconsin game that he's a very capable player, uh, certainly a very good passer. Uh, and um, they have the skill guys to make you pay in the back end if you don't do a good job in terms of making explosive plays. Let's go to Stewart for the last one. Make the fact that you're going to play off for the first time and the fact that if you win, there's another game after that. How, if anything, has that affected the way you structure your goal? Well, it ha not at all. and. Um, you know, I, I sort of look at this, you know, a little bit like when you're in the NFL playoffs. Um, you know, you got a game this week. Uh, it's the only game that matters because uh, if you don't play well in that particular game and don't have success in that game, you don't get to play the next game. Uh, and that's kind of how our focus and approach has been with this game. Uh, you know, we've played 13 games. This is the 14th game. It's most important for our team to play their best in the 14th game, and everybody's got to get ready to and prepare themselves to be able to do that. Uh, and then if you have success, you worry about the next thing. But um, other than that, I, I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference because it's all about this game. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.